Hey guys, it's Kevy Dog 4 and here's our fourth and final video of the night. I don't know if I'm going to get these all posted tonight. This one will probably go in um, tomorrow. But last our last video is going to be on the Oklahoma City Thunder. They are the last team that has clinched the playoffs so far and they just made it tonight um with their win and I'll show you what happened. Um Type them in. There they are. So, their record is 53 and 19. So they have 10 games remaining, and they um, are 30 and 7 at home and 23 and 12 on the road. So they're a better home team, like most teams are in the playoffs, than they are on the road. And tonight they beat the. Kings by 13 points, 91-84. And Kevin Durant had another 25-plus point game tonight. So, I vote him MVP. I think he needs MVP. It's not going to be LeBron this year. It's going to be Durant. <laughs> so, they've lost four games since March 6th, starting with the Suns, um, and then to the Lakers, the Mavericks, and the Mavericks again. So they lost twice to the Mavericks this month. And their next nine games um, are going to be against Utah Jazz, San Antonio Spurs, the Houston Rockets, Phoenix Suns, Sacramento Kings, LA Clippers, um, the New Orleans Pelicans, Indiana Pacers, and then the Pelicans again. So I expect lots of wins from them there. They, they can take out the Jazz. Now the Spurs game, good question. These are the top two seeds in the Western Conference going head-to-head. -head. Who knows who's going to win this game? This one will probably be televised like all over the country. So that's going to be one to definitely watch out for. Then they have to play the Houston Rockets. That's going to be a hard game, too. Then Phoenix is in contention for the playoffs. Um, that They could put up a good fight, I think. Then they need to beat Sacramento. Clippers is going to be hard. Pelicans, they need to beat. Pacers, maybe. And Pelicans, again, yes, they need to win. So they're going to they're gonna win at least four of those games, definitely. And I think they have the potential to beat out definitely some of those playoff teams there. Now, the Thunder has clinched the playoffs, but not their division yet because the Blazers are within seven games. Um, they have eight more to go. The Blazers do, and we, the Thunder, have 10, so they can come back. And they're running out of time, though, so they'll have to really step it up, and the Thunder will have to lose if the Blazers are going to clinch the division. So I, I'm pretty sure Thunder are going to clinch that division. Then the Timberwolves are currently out of the playoffs, but they're, they still have the slimmest chance of making it in. Um, Nuggets and Jazz are both eliminated, and they're not playing well. So, now team leaders. Kevin Durant, first in scoring. What a surprise. 32 points a game. Yeah. That's what you need to watch out for. Now, Serge Ibaka is second in the NBA with 2.6 shots per game. And then Russell Westbrook is 11th in assists and 7th in steals. So, they've got some good numbers. And here's their team stats. I'll give you a second. Don't want to move too fast. Okay. Then there's their roster. Okay, Thunder have been on a roll the whole year. Everyone's been watching them since the first game of the season. So, I don't see why they can't make it at least to the um, Final Four. And I don't know why they can't make it to the Finals or even winning the championship. So, this team is strong. I've watched them play. They're, they're all around good, so... Team to watch out for them and the Spurs. Watch them. You've got to watch them. They are good. So those are our four teams in those four videos. 
that have made the playoffs so far. And probably tomorrow we'll have more because bubble teams right now are Toronto, um, Chicago. Both of those teams will be in within the next week or two. And um, L.A. Clippers, obviously. Um, very close. And who else? Houston. Now, Brooklyn's close, too. Brooklyn. Most of the Eastern Conference teams will be in within the next couple weeks. The battle to the end is going to be in the Western Conference. Because, um, yeah, Washington even. Seventh, eighth seed is going to switch around in the East. But first through four, I think, will probably be already set. But everything below that is just going to be an all-out battle. All-out war. It's going to be so good. So, thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Give me feedback. Um, give me suggestions on new videos. And I will see you next time.